Hey guys, I thought I'd do an update on my Frey CC. I've had it for six months or so now and over a thousand miles. And I am really loving this bike. One of the reasons for that has to do with upgrading the controller. I picked up uh, Archon X1 controller offered by Watt Wagons. It's the same controller that XS puts on their bikes. XS is a German company. And uh, the controller is made by Initrace in Germany. And it just makes my bike so much smoother in terms of PAS and torque sensing. It's The refinement now is on the level of my um, Yamaha PW uh, bike or any of the Eurospec, you know, 250 watt motors. Um, they're just so much smoother than the Bifang um, motors. And this controller kind of takes it to that world class level. The other big benefit of the controller in addition to the refinement um, is the efficiency. My range has increased at least 20%. And now when I ride my bike, I don't have any range anxiety. Um, I pretty much can ride until my butt wears out and it's gonna wear out sooner than my battery does as long as I leave the house with uh, at least an 80% charge. And of course, if you do your research on batteries and stuff, you don't really wanna be charging to 100% every day. So, um, I, even though the controller was expensive, I think it's more than paid for itself. I didn't need an extra battery. Um, I'm not having it charged to 100%, so it's going to preserve my battery life. And it's just a great experience. So I'd highly recommend it if you have the money. Uh, it's not cheap, um, but it'll pretty much work on any ultra-based bike. Um, okay, so I'll talk a little bit about some of the other things I've done um, to my bike. As you can see, I've got a trailer on the bike. It's a Burley Travoy. You can just kind of attach it through the seat post. You can remove it easily for transporting in stores. I, I picked this up because I had larger items that I wanted to kind of take, like I had a big box I needed to take back to Costco. So I picked up the trailer and, and I'm liking it. I haven't really used it that much because um, soon after I got it, we had a lot of wildfire smoke and stuff like that. But it's just nice to have um, for extra flexibility if you can't fit everything on the rack. Um, and the other nice thing too is that, you know, it's not weighing down your rack. Um, so, so your full suspension isn't necessarily having to deal with all that weight. Um, so I think overall it could give you a smoother ride uh, when you're hauling a lot of weight in terms of groceries and wh whatnot. Um, I picked up some bags to go with it. Um, they're really expensive and it's kind of, you know, you got to pay the piper sometimes. The, the trailer itself was around 300 bucks. Uh, it was under 300, I think, on sale. And then the bags were uh, under 100 bucks each, but Again, it's a lot of money to pay, but hey, it works for me. Um, okay, let's talk about some other things. I've got a folding lock on my bike now. I picked up this, uh, it's a Kryptonite TKO folding lock. You can find uh, other locks out there, like you can buy a foldy lock for, you know, 80 bucks or so. I don't, I don't think they're any better than this. Um, no lock is going to prevent a thief from getting a bike if he really wants it. But this works great. I mean, it's robust. I'm not going to take it off and demonstrate. You can you can check it out online. But uh, it's, so, it's so easy to pull out and uh, lock my bike now. There's no excuse when I go into a store not to have my bike secured. And in terms of that, I should probably talk a little bit about um, the GPS tracker I got. So I ended up getting this GPS tracker from China. It was like 70 bucks on Amazon. I paid an extra 30 bucks for shipping to get it here faster. I'm glad I did because of COVID, I didn't want to wait months to get it. But you can see the tracker in here is in there. It's, I also got a Tile Pro in there so that I can make my bike ring. And no, I don't have any illusions that this is going to, you know, recover my bike. 100% uh, if it gets stolen, but hey, I like to have options just in case. The reason why I threw the tile uh, tracker in there is more just so I can make my bike ring and demonstrate it as my bike if I need to do that for law enforcement. But anyway, uh, I'm, a, I'm a gadget guy, so I like things like GPS trackers, but it's working great. And uh, it's a 4G tracker. Um, I put a Freedom Pop SIM in the tracker. Freedom Pop offers a plan that is essentially gives you 200 megabytes of data a month, which is more than enough for the tracker. I don't think it uses more than 
say 50 or 100 megabytes if that um, but it only costs like a penny for the for the sim I had to update the tracker to work with the sim but it wasn't that big of a deal and now essentially after paying a $10 top-up credit I have free GPS tracking for life or at least as long as Freedom Pop stays in business or offers the free plan so yeah it works great in there it's nice and secure oh I forgot to mention but it it wires directly to the the battery there's actually in the CC here this is a charging port and if you op open things up there's basically a, a port in there that's got a fuse going to the battery and I just tapped into that to hook my tracker in so I don't have to charge it or anything it's nice and secure in here you know so it's not going anywhere no, thief can't just pull it off and I just just like it anyway because uh, like my wife gets worried sometimes when I'm riding uh, I'm really late getting home after dark and she can just this is her phone because I put it on just to demonstrate but uh, she can just uh, pull pull up the tracker and kind of see where my bike is it tracks every 30 seconds so kind of a cool ja gadget okay let's talk about the the phone mount I have here so I picked this up on Amazon it's just like a $10 phone mount but I really like it it, it works great it's so easy to kind of put a phone on it just kind of clips on like that you just push the button comes out like that accommodates all sizes of phones it's pretty pretty stable um, so yeah for for 10 bucks I can't complain okay uh, maybe I should turn on the tracker and demonstrate I'm gonna pause this real quick okay so here's the, uh, the GPS tracker this is the uh, the app shows you where you are, other information like speed and stuff, which I won't demonstrate. But yeah, it's really cool. I like, sometimes I'll just put on my phone on there and kind of watch the bike as it's tracking me. Of course, you can use your own cell phone for tracking your rides and stuff like that. But uh, it's kind of cool. Okay, now other things that I've done, I added a, um, a mirror cycle mirror and I've added some Ergon GP5 grips. I didn't have any problem with the grips that came with my bike. I ordered some ergonomic grips, but the problem with that is they didn't have end caps on them. So these Ergon GP5s have these end caps so that I could screw the mirror cycle in. So they were on sale for like, I don't know, 50 bucks at REI. One thing I really like about these grips, I mean, like I said, the, the grips aren't necessarily any better the base grips, but I like these horns, particularly the top horns. Uh, it allows me to kind of have a more upright right, uh, ride at times. Uh, I don't really use these side grips because the handlebars are already pretty wide and it just kind of feels like my hands are pulled out too much. But I love the two, two hand positions. Of course, everybody's different. So um, but anyway, I, li I, like, I like these grips. Ended up picking up a, a one, two dollar Huffy <coughs> bell. Works great. Uh, one thing I will mention about the Intertrace controller is the only real downside is that the uh, integrated lights don't work. And I don't find that that big of an issue because you know, before I had to turn on the power and then I had to hit the light button. I mean, it's automatic too, but it didn't really work that consistently. Um, so I, you know, I have to turn on the lights anyway by manually, so it's not that big of a deal to put on my old bike light and hit the button when I want to light. And Wattwagon sent me this rear light. I really like this light. It's rechargeable. I'm going to turn it on real quick. And it's super bright. I feel much more secure when I'm riding. And hey, you know what? With this trailer and stuff, I kind of needed a higher light anyway, so problem solved um, rechargeable this thing will kind of brighten up as you change speed it's got a, like a, a sensor inside so yeah not a big deal that the uh, integrated lights aren't working there are better solutions out there uh, this seat you can see I still have the stock seat on there it works great for me of course everybody's different but um, yeah just like the 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 controller and the new bat and the battery you know my butt wears out before um, pretty much, you know, I run out of battery and I, I go 30 miles on this. I f it feels great, but of course everybody's different. Okay. What else to talk about? Now, one thing I, I will mention in terms of this lock, I was really happy that I was able to get it mounted low and you can see there's enough clearance here that it's not hit my suspension at all. Um, 
But there aren't really a lot of mounting options, like if you wanted to add another bottle mount. I found a cage mount on Amazon, and I originally had my lock up here, but um, you know, it was it interfered with the trailer hitch and and seat. So one thing to keep in mind with the CC, and you know, there's not a whole lot of place to attach things, at least traditional things like bottle mounts. So you'll have to come up with alternatives. Now, I've had a few people come by and test ride the bike, and I'm glad they did because they found that. Um, the bike wasn't necessarily right for them. Uh, one person came out and was interested in the step through um, because they were having problems, uh, you know, they had knee issues and so it was hard for them to get on and off their bike. And they found that the uh, kind of the height of the step on this really didn't solve their problems. And I would kind of agree. I mean, I like it. Uh, I can get over it just fine. But um, if you're really looking for a true step through, I don't think this is the bike for you. Um, so just be cognizant of that. I would hate for somebody to invest, you know, a lot of money and then find out um, it doesn't work for them. The uh, other person that came by uh, loved the bike, the power, everything, but it was just uh, too heavy for him. Uh, you know, the bike is is roughly 70, 75 pounds, depending on what you throw on it. And if you're going to be transporting it, like putting on a, you know, a bus or uh, on a trail uh, on your on your vehicle. It might be a bit heavy for that. In fact, I, when I go riding up in the mountains, I have a um, full, suspen full suspension mountain bike that's a bit lighter, and I can just throw that in the back of my SUV. I wouldn't want to do that with the CC. But, you know, most of my rides are from home here. It's more of my city bike, uh, all around kind of utility uh, to, to replace my SUV as much as I can. And it works great for that. So uh, I think this would be a great bike for commuting uh, and just, you know, if you just want kind of an all-around city bike. But if you plan to do a lot of transporting of the bike, um, you know, may or may not work for you. Keep in mind, it, it's 75 pounds, and that's a lot of weight. But like I mentioned in my other video, that weight has its advantages. When I'm riding this bike, it is super stable at speed. I'm, you know, I don't... When I come down, go down my hill, I'm often hitting like 40 miles an hour, which I don't like because it's not that safe. But you don't really even notice it because the bike is just so stable. It it uh, it's kind of deceptive. So anyway, uh, yeah, loving loving this bike, um, and I hope this video has helped. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.